Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe below and hit that notification bell. If you're not new, welcome back. So today I'm going to be doing a review of a foundation and I'm going to be doing a wear test and I'm looking around because I thought I had it right here in front of me and I don't, I don't see it. Anyway, I am going to be doing a review. I have one over here. Um, I'm going to be doing a review. There it is. <laughs> I'm all over the place. I'm going to be doing a review on the Win Life Gives You Lemons. It's a high function foundation, full coverage for acne. Um, and I believe it's supposed to help your acne over time. So I actually have very acne prone skin. Um, you don't see a lot of acne on my face. It could be, you know, the lighting and I do a lot, a lot of stuff to keep my face from breaking out. Um, but it is very acne prone, so I have to be careful of what I use. But with that being said, I have very, very oily skin and um, there's not much that can combat that. And I've used just about every foundation under the sun and, um, you know, some work a little bit better than others. But I tried this one the other day and I didn't really, you know, check the wear test, but I felt like it wore really, really well. And so I am going to do a wear test for you guys. I'm going to put this foundation on. We're going to look at it. We're going to review it and we're going to see how it really performs. Maybe this is going to be the answer to my oily skin problems. So if you want to hear about this foundation, just keep on watching. Okay, got my beauty sponge and I've got my foundation. I'm going to be using the color 172C. So I will say when you're choosing your color, um, I felt like the colors are a little bit darker than they show on the website. So keep that in mind when you're looking for a color. That's just my opinion. Yours may have been perfect for you. But when I first selected a color, I looked at the girl's face and I was like, my skin looks like hers. And the color was so dark. Um, exchange policy is easy peasy, but you know, you always want to get what you, what you want and you don't want to have to, you know, wait for it. So keep that in mind. All right. So I'm going to be using 172C and I've got my beauty blender here. So you can use the foundation alone. You can use it with your primer or you can use it with this. And let me see if I have um, the box of this because I can't remember what this is called exactly. Well, I know what it's called, but what it actually does. And I'm just going to have to go off of memory. I don't know what I did with the box. I probably threw it away. Um, so this is a oil balance booster and it's made in Italy. So, you know, it's got to be fabulous. I'm <laughs> just kidding. Well, it might be, I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, so, um, they say use a little bit of this, a little bit goes a long way and help with your oil control. Um, you can mix it in the foundation, which I've seen girls do, or you can put it on as your primer. I'm going to put it on as a primer just because I'm used to using a primer and I'm going to use this for my primer because I have super, super oily skin. All right, so it comes in a little teardropper, and because it's a new bottle, I mean, it's just, I have a lot of it. So I'm going to put it, I'm going to try to put it kind of like everywhere, but I'm going to put it where I have the most oil, like that's where I'm going to drop it off. So this is where I have the most oil, like in my T-zone, but I'm going to rub it everywhere, because obviously I don't want to just sit those drops, and I get it around my nose chin and my forehead and like my cheeks don't get that bad it's just like right here just right there so doing that and it gives you just like a little bit of a I mean it's not really sticky but it's a it doesn't feel like dry it feels like moist and not completely smooth. No, that's all I, I don't know. It's not like glue, but it's whatever. Whatever. All right, so let's just see how this coverage is. And because it is for acne prone skin, and from what I've heard, if you use it for a long period of time, it should actually help with your acne a little bit, which is great. Um, I've used foundations with salicylic acid. Oh, and it has the little turny thing. So you turn it and open it and then you can turn it back to close. So I really like the packaging too. Um, I like pumps. 
I'm going to just pump it right on my face. So I actually have um, a lot of skin discoloration, like uh, I can't remember what it's called, but when I was pregnant with my daughter, I got like that, what is it called? Pregnancy mask. So again, a little bit goes a long way. So I'm just going to put like that much on and we're going to just put that on. But anyway, so I got pregnancy mask pretty bad when I was pregnant with my daughter and that just never really went away. I went and got, um, what's it called? A yeah, this color is actually, this, I think this is my color. This is good. It looks good. I mean, it looks kind of light, but it's not. It's it's actually really good. So my second try with getting my color, I did really good. I think once I realized that the color I got was so dark, I knew I needed to go like a lot lighter. But you can see this coverage is like, whoa, it's like a foundation. I mean, not a foundation. It's like a concealer that you would put all over your face. I mean, for me, though, the real test, I love full coverage. I love medium coverage. I even like light coverage. It just really depends on the day. But my big thing is, is how is this going to perform? How is it going to stay? Is it going to separate? Is it going to make enlarge my pores? Is it, I mean, is my face going to get so oily? So... I want to say when you have oily skin, it's really hard to find a good foundation. Um, and one of the reasons it's hard to find a good foundation is because to take makeup off, the best way to remove it is like oils, right? So if you're naturally producing like this huge amount of oil, and I got this all over my earring. If you're naturally producing a whole bunch of oil, your makeup is not going to want to stick to your face. And that doesn't mean you have bad skin. That just means that you have oily skin. And that's, you know, some people just have oily skin. So it also looks like this is very buildable. So if you put it on. Oh, another thing I just want to tell you guys. So I did a swatch test when I got my first. I got like three in a PR package, right? Um, and I did a swatch test. And, you know, I saw right away that, oh, these colors are just too dark for me. I tried to wipe, wash that off. I tried to wipe it off. It was not coming off. I tried to wash it off. It was not washing off. <laughs> I mean, I just used water. I thought water would be good enough, right? Nope. Nope. And that's what I'm talking about. That's some... That is bomb foundation, okay? It's wanting to stick and stay. So check out this coverage. Amazing. I mean, it, you can just see my dark circles looking like craziness. All right, so I'm going to jump off. It is about 9 o'clock a.m. Um, I'm going to jump off, put the rest of my makeup on, and I'm going to give you guys just follow-ups throughout the day so you can see how this wears throughout the day. Um, this could really be the solution to us oily girls' skin. So um, let's see. Okay, I just wanted to do a check-in with the foundation. I've had it on for two hours now. So I put it on about 9 o'clock. Um, I'll have to double check the time. But it is about 11, 11.30 now. So about two hours of wear. It is not settling into my pores. Um, let, me, let me get my mirror out. So I'll try to show you guys, but let me just describe it too. Um, it's not settled into any lines on my forehead. None around my eyes. It hasn't separated, um, no oil has come through, not that that's, you know, typical most foundations at least can get a few hours of wear. So we'll see, it does not need any touch-ups at all. It's nice and matte. Um, and that's it. So I will check back again in a few more hours so we can see how this does. Um, I will be having to wear a mask later on today, so we'll see how it does to a mask. Um, when my oil does start to come through, because it probably will, um, then it'll transfer probably a lot easier onto a mask. So we'll see what happens. Okay, so it's been about five hours since I've had it on. It's almost two o'clock. Um, and I don't feel like it's really emphasized texture. 
Um, it's hard for me to see right here. I'm gonna look right here in the mirror. Um, but yeah, I don't feel like it's emphasized texture at all. I mean, I have textured skin and it, to me, it looks more improved with this foundation on. Um, we were at a party and it was hot and sweaty outside and I don't feel like my makeup suffered. So that's good. Um, again, I mean, I'm a little shiny. I haven't touched up at all, but it's not in any creases, no fine lines and wrinkles. There's no line. I mean, and the coverage is still like amazing. So, so far, thumbs up. And like I said, I have not even touched it up. There's no like separation. Um, yeah, I mean, other than my face is a little oily, but it's a lot less oily than it would have been with any other foundation. And then, like I said, there's no like, I mean, there's no separation from the oil. So I'm really, really loving it. So excited. Okay, so I've been wearing this foundation now for about nine hours. My lipstick is not making it, um, but my face is definitely super greasy. I have not touched it up. Still has not settled into fine lines and wrinkles at all. Um, I didn't try to touch up with powder or anything because I just didn't feel like it. But I feel like it would touch up real nicely. Um, but yeah, I'm obsessed with this foundation. I love it. I do think this is going to be my go-to because I have such oily skin. You can see the oil around here and this is just going to be my you know my face is oily but it still hasn't separated it looks a tiny bit cakey um like right around here in here but it's not horrible um yeah i love it